are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Shuts him down. Gustafson is able to square up to the shooter right here. He's in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. And that's pushed away. And somehow he hangs on. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. Off a stick. Right on the doorstep. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Chicago's ready to go on the attack. Puts it on net. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Here's a short pass to Eric Sack. And he takes the dish. Oh, a clutch save! Moves the puck along the half wall. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Bertuzzi, has got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Fires it! Denies the chance by blocking it. Works it across to Middleton. Oh, and even bigger save on the slapper! Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Bedard. Shading steam here on the attack. Oh, puts it wide. And oh, you know he'll want that one back. Well, you can see the frustration right there. I think there's a sense of urgency, but he had more time than he thought. Denied by the goaltender. And he's knocked off the puck there. Quick pass across to Hall. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And that's broken out from the back of the cage with the puck. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the game is still scoreless. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. Slides the puck ahead to Foligno. Quick feed to Johansson. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Here's a shot. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Wild have finally delivered the game's first goal as we near the midway mark of period number one. And that's exactly what they needed just to separate themselves from their opponent. When you get that first one, sometimes you drive your opponent back. Now they're hesitating and you create more opportunities. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Solid check to slow them down. Chicago's got the puck in the defensive end. Centering pass. Scores! What a finish on the play! Well, they do a great job in transition, and they recognize they have the number. So on the odd man rush, they've got someone driving the net, pulling the knee back, and guess what? They capitalize on the space that they're given. More than half the period left to play. We got a tie game. Trinitz won the drive center. Directs it on over to Gauntz. Chicago's got control of it now from the road end. Fires it into the offensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Trinitz. 
And he slides it quickly to Faber. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Let's the wrister go. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Handles the puck from the left side. Slides it across. Made the stop on that play. Slides the puck to Murphy. Gets the puck in deep. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Moves it over to Gaunt. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Well past the midway mark of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Minnesota's got the puck behind the net. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Chicago's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Let's go! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. for a second. Cuffs up the puck after that hit. Oh, look at this. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. More than half the period has expired. Chicago's got a one-goal lead. Minnesota's won the draw. That's blocked. The Blackhawks gain control of it. The Wild have possession along the board. Now a quick pass to Johansson. Here we go. On man rush here. Knocks the puck loose. Scooped up along the wall by Boyd. Monster blocker stopped by Mrazek. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Picked up along the boards by Brody. Bertuzzi's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Bedard. The Blackhawks move the puck in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Bedard. Oh, what a stop on the play! Justison's got the puck, and he's gonna hang on. Here in the late going to the frame, the Blackhawks lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Harrison X won the draw here in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Zuccarello. Great hits up play with the stick by Martinez. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And it's a quick pass to Kaprizov. Gains the zone on the left wing. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle, and it dies on his stick. Great stop by Gustafson. When the puck's in the low slot, the ball Let's grab a breather and 
and we'll come back with period number two in moments. Both teams back on the ice. They're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we've got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Gustafson's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. Chicago's gained possession. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Takes a shot. Maintains control of the puck. Moves it to Brodeen. Poked away in the defensive end. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. Bedard's moving the puck through his own zone. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Spurgeon. Taken by Eriksson Ek. And he slides it quickly to Hartman. Nice zone entry from the middle. Oh, and he's got it against the boards. Snags with the club by Razik. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. The Blackhawks are clinging to a 2-1 lead. And they win the draw here in their own end. Can't keep a hold of it. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. Morazic's gonna hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's gotta come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Cuts into the paint! Stopped by the goaltender. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Club goes up, makes the save. Boyd's quick stick off the draw wins possession. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. With the stop. Johansson's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Oh, and he denies him on the one-timer. Wow! Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. Oh, and a nice job getting the puck out of the zone. Uh, first, you got to get it. So the PK unit does a great job reading where that puck is going to be able to retrieve it. And then you got to get it down the ice, recognizing the glass is the best option. Perfectly executed. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Hartman's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And now he moves it quickly to Rossi. Scores! And the power play works to perfection as they've tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. Well, great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's all tied up. Chicago's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Loses the coverage there. And that's blocked. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. And he slides it quickly to Korczynski. And it banks off a stick in traffic. 
And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. And that one stopped. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Erickson X won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Vlasic. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Feeds it across the ice to Faber. Kaprizov's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Passes it over. And they score! They score on the delayed penalty, James, so that's going to negate their power play, but it looks like they didn't need it. Oh man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect time or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. Minnesota's taking a one-goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. But Darts won the draw here in the open ice. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Quick feed to Bertuzzi. Shot. Oh, what a save with the glove by Gustafson. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Minnesota's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Puck grab by Middleton. Sends it over to Johansson. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop by Morazic. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Now a quick pass to Middleton. Sends the pass over. Jocelyn for the trying to gain a step. He gets that one to go. Oh, that's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get nothing in return. A missed opportunity. The Blackhawks take it across the line. Minnesota's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Chicago's got the puck. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Grabbed along the boards by Boyd. Slides the puck across to Merrill. Great pressure on the offensive end by Johansson. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Minnesota's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Score! Is that three in a row? Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Well, the backhander's gonna beat the goaltender on this one, James, but I, what I love about it is the effort to get to that area, that low slot area. You know you're gonna have to pay the price, you're gonna have to fight for position. He does all of it and he gets rewarded. Anytime a team is on a losing streak, you really wanna get out of the gate quickly at the beginning of a game. And unfortunately, they stumbled in this one yet again and they're trailing in the game and the coach is showing the frustration behind the bench. Listen, this is a deflated team right now that needs some energy. Past the midway mark in this period. Minnesota's got a two goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone face off. From Sunday, they get into the attacking area. Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Minnesota's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. Off the draw, they take possession. Slides the pass over to Zuccarello. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. 
The Blackhawks played along the boards. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Great reach with the stick by Tara Bynan. Gains the zone through center. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Zuccarello is known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. Moves it quickly over to Faber. Hooked away at center by Vlasic. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Zuccarello. Quick pass to Faber. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Here's a short pass to Eric Slant. That's loved by Morazic. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Late goings of this period. Minnesota's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Puck and Trotty wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Blackhawks will play it in their own end. Chicago's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, he comes up with a big stop there. Tosses it to Rossi. Scoops up the puck now. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Center and key. is coming up. in the books now played. How do you view this one? Minnesota's ahead in this game, James, but for how long is the big question? I mean, their opponent just keeps storming back after a goal. This is a modern-day offensive game. No defense is being shown on this one. Puck scooped up by Brodeen. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. And a good smack with the stick to get it down. The Blackhawks take it along the wall. Trapper by Gustafson. Well, this is such a quick shot that comes from the slot that you have to have good reflexes to be able to make that club save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Fans have been treated to a fun one tonight. Lots of offense. It's 4-3. And now it's grabbed by Brodeen. Pass to Zuccarello. Moves it to Korczynski. Oh, hello. Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. Ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. They win the draw and go on the attack. He got all on that one. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Chicago's crossed the line and on the attack. Denies him in front. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Nice zone entry from the left. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves, and he loses the puck. Boldy's lugging the puck. Rossi's going to play it from behind the net. Quick feed to Boldy. 
Taken along the wall by Brodeen. Tries to get the puck to Hartman. Read that perfectly with the poke check. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck in their own end. They've got numbers here. Blocked in front. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Brodeen's got it in the defensive end. Takes a shot. Great plus save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It's a one goal game here. 4 3 is where we sit. Boyd's won the face off here in the offensive zone. Denies him on the play. Brazic's in such great position. He's able to redirect that puck to safety right to the corner. The Blackhawks will play from the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Slides the puck down low. There's a solid collision. And that goes off a body. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Broken up by Middleton. The Wild have taken possession of their own end. Minnesota's on the attack. Feeds it down low. Picked up along the wall by Spurs. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Look, go technique out the window. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Moves the puck up to Caprizov. And loses possession after a solid hit. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Eric Sinek. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Gustafson. Shooter in the slot, he makes the glove hand save. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Oh, what a save in front! Sukarello's crossed the line and gained the zone. Three center along the wing. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Gets it over to Rossi. Quick pass to Poldy. He's got a step. Oh, it's a nice of the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Play blow dead. Let's get the call. Well, the coach is hot, and he's doing everything he can to hold it in. He is seething inside at that last call. It's the third period they're losing in this game. It's almost non-existent that they're going to come back now. success earlier on the power play in this formation James really like that high umbrella where you're using the top of the offensive zone to work some magic weave some as you move the coverage around and once you get them running that's where you can open up your lanes and attack the net Murphy's taking it from his own end explores his options behind the net the Blackhawks play it along the boards Strong defensive effort. Slides it up to Hartman. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Brassett. Does it again with the stop. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Felino's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Blackhawks start with the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Spurgeon stick handling in his own zone. Angles it over to Caprizo. Looking to make something happen along the boards. 
swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Korczynski standing up, ready to go. Sends it in deep. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Already down in the game and your back's against the wall. This is a massive kill. You want to keep the game within reach. Hands it over. A big save by the goaltender once again. Well, that puck came hard and it came fast and it came multiple times, but he was right on it, showing his athleticism to make those saves. Minnesota's been total non-stop action on the offensive end, and they continue to lead in the third. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Blackhawks move it in. Still has possession. Picked up by Middleton. Gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Locks him. And makes the easy glove save. behind the bench right now after they get that insurance marker goal. Listen, that should be it. It should be able to clinch the series. The coach also knows that there's game left and he wants to make sure that he identifies with his team that they've got to continue to push and stay on task. Minnesota's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances and they lead it late in this third period. And they win that neutral zone draw. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Murphy. Chicago's playing it from the side. And that's poked away by Middleton. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Puck picked up by Hartman. Scooped up along the wall by Spurgeon. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the clock. Chicago's looking to break out. Dishes it to Bertuzzi. The Blackhawks cross the line and gain the zone. Taken by Bertuzzi. Big time stop. Chicago's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. They've got the extra attacker out there. And Cheryl, we know what this means. Well, they have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll look to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. Kurt has won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, and he lays out to block that, and that'll earn some respect amongst his peers. This is my kind of play, James. You gotta get in the shot lanes. Wide open, Kurt finishes, he puts it off the coach. I think this is lack of awareness and knowing exactly how much time you have and where you are on the ice. He had a wide open net and just misses.
teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. and got it done. And got this crowd out of it. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Cebalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the ring.